Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look at my 55 gallon barrel worm bin. Okay, let me bring you over and we'll take a look and see what it's been doing. All right, so I have been coming in here and fluffing this part, trying to dry it out a little bit, but as you can see, still tons of worms. Looks like they have no intention of leaving this area. So I keep moving it around, trying to dry it out a little bit more, but right now, this time of year, the humidity is so high, I just don't think they're going to move. So I'm just going to keep trying to encourage them by drying it out, and we'll probably see some progress come November when the heat kicks back on. All right, here is the next part, which is the, it's more more or less the in-between stage. So this is the part that, in my opinion, would be completely done. This part is probably about half done, and then this last part over here, beyond, is the, the new part. So this is actually drying out on top anyway pretty good, and it's actually starting to look pretty similar to the end over there. So I'm gonna, you know, try and do the same thing but when you dig down deep, it's pretty wet, but it's still crumbly. So that's kind of how you know when the, the castings are done. You know, it's you can still kind of make a, a, a ball with them, but they still crumble apart. So that's a pretty good sign that it's done. So let's take a look over here at the end, the business end. Let's call it the business end. All right, so this part over here is what I fed last. Um, had a little bit of a malfunction with the camera and uh, even though I did film it there's nothing to see so pulling back the bubble wrap and the ubiquitous sort of compostable bags and let's look and see what we've got here now this has been using the leaf bedding and so no paper on this end so it is going to look pretty dark as compared to some of my other bins that have been fed with paper bedding so it looks like that feeding which was a pretty good size feeding some of it is still there it's actually kind of smelling a little funky oh I see hot peppers so so when you start talking about forbidden foods and what happens if you feed them and uh, there was a bag in the freezer that was I think about three or four years old and these are um, Thai scorpion peppers and now that I'm touching them with my bare hands I'm thinking I shouldn't be uh, but here we are gonna move those around they're making a lovely little worm ball right on top of the Thai scorpions see look at that and I'm not sure what that is. It's fibrous, whatever it is. So, I know that me touching Thai scorpions with my bare hands is a bad idea, but the worms, they seem to be just fine with it. What have I got here? Banana? Yeah, there we go, banana. So they're not actually done with the food I gave them last time. And considering how hot it is, um, these guys are going through a lot of food, which is why I really gave them a heavy feeding. But, so again and again, I probably shouldn't be touching these, but the worms are fine. They are not being impeded at all. They are not under stress or they would have gone someplace else. So forbidden food, busted because those are some hot damn peppers google it how many Scoville units those are yeah I actually feel really bad about wasting them but after they've been in the freezer for like two or three years um, as I am in food safety I start thinking to myself maybe we shouldn't the people shouldn't be eating these here's another little mango pit continuous worm ball happening here avocado clearly a winner 
tea bag dried out, not looking like they're doing much there. But I am going to give them some more bedding. But I'm not going to feed these guys. They've got a lot of food left. So I'm going to redistribute that a little bit. Bring some of the, the bedding that was dry over there. And then I'm going to go get them some more leaf bedding. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so moving these down. I forgot that I actually put some peat moss spines in with those um, leaf bedding. It's nothing I would really use with my plants because it's too fine. This might be an opportunity to get the moisture down. these peppers covered. All right. That's pretty good. If I was working with these peppers cooking them, I would be wearing gloves. So I'm going to cut this short and go wash my hands really, really good. Well, all right, guys. I went, ran upstairs and washed my hands. And as far as several minutes later, I'm not seeing any ill effects from any sort of capsation. So the worms must have already broke it down or broke down when it was in the freezer for so long. I don't know. All right. So just in case you were wondering, just thought I'd let you know. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day.